Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of the worst OG Fortnite lockers. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't look that bad to me. They got the spiky pickaxe and also the Mako glider from season 1. Then for emotes, they do have the worm, so they might have the floss and black knight. They got slick. This hasn't been out for like 500 days. The wave from season 2, Zanny, and also ride the pony. So now we know they got save the world. But let's get straight into it. Make sure you guys do drop a like if you enjoy and subscribe if you're new. We're going to start it off with the skins. Wait, is this? Hold up. Okay, they only have 15 skins. I mean, yeah, maybe this is going to be one of the worst OG lockers I've seen. So they have Black Knight, which means they have the max season 2 battle pass. They got two Save the World skins right here, Rose Team Leader and also the War Paint. Then they got the Funk Ops from Season 1, Codename L. Wait, this is the original Codename Elf because they don't have the other Polar Legend skins. Which means they must have bought this in Season 1 and they didn't buy the pack. Actually, this is a really rare locker to see, to be honest. Whenever someone owns this skin, they pretty much guaranteed own the pack. But nope, this only has the Codename Elf. Okay, this locker is looking actually really rare. They do also have the Circuit Breaker from Season 1. This hasn't been out for over a thousand days as well. It's a rare item shop skin. They got the Blue Squire, another Season 2 skin. The Absolute Zero from Season 1. However, he did just return. I'm sure you guys all know that. They got the Sparkle Specialist, Season 2 Battle Pass. And also the Pink Ghoul Trooper, which we did see. The OG style for people who bought the Ghoul Trooper in Season 1. Guys, do you actually think this OG locker is bad? Let me know in the comments because I feel like it's actually not that bad, even though it only has 15 skins. Then they have the Desperado from Season 1, the Royal Knight. The Special Forces, again, not been out for over a thousand days. The Female Version, Survival Specialist. Then also the Dominator, another really rare skin, which hasn't been out for over a thousand days. So this locker only has the Season 2 Battle Pass, and that is literally it for skins. Then everything else is from the Season 1 item shop or the Save the World skin from Season 3. But the codename Elf thing is just kind of crazy to me. Like, you never ever see someone just having this skin. They do actually have one skin archived as well, which is Astra. I mean, it was pretty obvious because that is the Bat Bling which was equipped. They told me it was archived as it's their only Chapter 2 skin. So now we're onto the emotes and they only have 26, which is hardly anything. They got the Keep It Mellow from Season 7. So they must have watched the event, but they didn't buy the Battle Pass or anything like that. They got Boogie Down from 2FA. Electro Shuffle from Season 1. Fresh introduced in Season 1, but you guys all know it released in Season 2. Classic emo for sure, and it's probably never going to return. They got Shake It Up from Season 5. The free emo from Season 6. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that they might have played the game in other seasons, but they literally hardly bought anything and none of the battle passes. They got the Floss from Season 2. Yeah, we already knew about that because we saw Black Knight. The Eagle, Dab bouncer billy bounce jambori this emote used to be so rare until it came back they got pony up raw which means they must have had this originally because it did just return slick which we knew about twist zanny then for uncommon emotes um that is literally it so for pickaxes they got ac dc the bottom feeder which hasn't been out for over a thousand days this is really rare they got the Candy Axe from Season 1, Chomp Jr. from Season 1. I think this is kind of rare as well. Death Valley, like everything's just Season 1 and Season 2. Again, the Disco Brawl from Season 1, which is kind of rare. Pink Flamingo, the Axe of Calibur. Cliffhanger, again, Season 1, Director's Cut. Then, of course, they got the Save the World ones right here. Spiky, the Reaper, and that is going to be it for pickaxes. So onto gliders, they got the Cloud Strike, the Get Down from Season 2, Cozy Coaster from Season 1, the Gumdrop from Season 1. This is another really rare glider. It's not been out for over a thousand days. They got the Voyager, again, another really rare glider. This account is actually not as bad as I thought. The Zephyr as well. Okay, guys, this hasn't been out for over 1,300 days. The mainframe, again, not been out for over a thousand days. Yo, they got the rarest glider in the game, the Raptor from Season 1. 
This hasn't been out for over 1,500 days and it's actually the rarest item shop glider to exist. Okay, hold on a minute. This account went from being one of the worst OG lockers, but I actually think it's pretty good. What do you guys think? This is the second OG locker, which is apparently supposed to be terrible. So we're going to go ahead and find out. Starting off with skins, they only have 11, even less than the last OG Ghoul Trooper. But this time they got the OG School Reflex, the Stealth Reflex, the exclusive version. How does it even have this? That makes no sense. They got Peely, the Save the World skins and the Season 8 Battle Pass. That is literally it. Okay, I think this account Loki might be quite bad. The OG Ghoul Trooper honestly was pretty good. But for pickaxes, they have got the Darth Vader, the Reflexes save the world pickaxe the raiders revenge well not really but you guys know what i mean the reaper as well and then some other save the world ones then for emotes they got the forget me not icon series the cypher strut the dip which was free widow's pirouette that is again so random last seen over a thousand days ago they got wiggle zombified from halloween ride the pony like i this looker it's not great it's not looking great i must admit and then they do have the wave as well for gliders they have got the mako of course the stealth reflex one because it came in the bundle the founders umbrellas and the season two victory royale umbrella for their special banners they do have a really rare save the world one which is cool to see all right guys we're on another og locker and this time it's a renegade raider so in total they have over 40 skins which again is very unstacked which is kind of the whole point of these lockers today but they have got some older battle pass skins as we can see the black knight the carbide dark voyager from season three drift from season five they got the red knight raptor omega so now we know they have the season four battle pass they have the rex skin which returned recently the reaper from season three visitor war paint as well from season three pretty much just your standard og battle passes is what it's looking like to me they got the red line the rogue agent rook sun strider from season five shadow ops who remembers when this skin actually used to be rare but it releases all the time now okay they do have infiltrator as well from season one i think this might be like their second rarest skin but yeah it's not been out for over 1000 days also known as the male recon expert then they have midnight alps as well i do remember when this used to be one of the rarest item shop skins in the game but now it's not really rare anymore then they have the radiant striker it used to be rare and also the renegade raider which we did see at the start so now we're on to emos and they have 70 which is not too many let's be honest but they got snap from season four boogie down from 2fa breakdown season five battle pass i think they only got the battle passes from season two to season five by the looks of things they got breaking from season three electro shuffle disco fever they have got fresh as well i mean i'm not too surprised most og lockers have it but it's just always good to see let me know what you guys think about this emote right here they got phone it in pop lock the robot max season three battle pass squat kick smooth moves they have got busy as well from season six so they must have played in season six but just didn't get the battle pass then they got the floss from season two electro swing hitchhiker hot marot again yep from season six so they definitely played that season rambunctious as well though not been out for over 1400 days yeah again good to see they got ride the pony pony up as well the worm and then also tidy also known as the snoop dog emo pretty good treat yourself from halloween thumbs up as well which is actually kind of rare i don't know why so there was three of the worst OG Fortnite lockers. Although I think the pink ghoul one was actually pretty good. Either way, they're all OG, so that's pretty unique. But let me know which one you guys think was the best. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next one.